Second episode of Down Not Out, and today we're going to play in three games for you. Bit of a treat. We're going to have Darlington, Telford, and Salford. Two, three massive games. Darlington, a team that I personally quite like, quite close to my heart. You know, they went out of business and they basically had to rebuild themselves. And I, in real life, I hope they do well. Obviously, I prefer Kitty to go up, but if we don't, Darlington would be my second choice. Telford, local rivals, big game. Never want to lose a local derby, so hopefully we can go out there and there. Uh, Nick three points and then Salford a team quite funny I despise not gonna lie to you um, they're basically a cash cow they're an absolute cash cow and they're everything I hate with modern football so let's just get into the episode so we played six games since you last saw us picking up ten points which is a very disappointing return I was certainly hoping to have a few more victories on the board at this point we kicked it all off though with a 1-1 draw against Brackley disappointing to say the least but at the end of the day Tyra White grabbed a goal and then Lee Undlovio, I think that's how you say that, grabbed their equaliser before Crowsdale was centre. We then faced Chorley, where it was a bit of a up and down game really. Andre Brown giving us an early lead, Jason Walker then equalising for Andre Brown then to hand us the lead straight from the kickoff. Then there was a bit of a quiet section in the game, so Jason Walker scored 15 minutes into the second half and then scored again 14 minutes later to hand them the lead and finish off his hat trick. Arthur Ganawa equalised though a minute later before James McQuilkin scored a 30-yard free kick in the 89th minute to hand us the three points. We then made the trip to Nuneaton where it was a 1-1 draw. It was a very drab game, very boring game to say the least. Jordan Nicholson handing them the lead only for us then to equalise minutes later with James Clifton sending the ball into his own net. Then comes the most disappointing result out of this whole section Staley Bridge at home we should be winning yet we drew 2-2 we found ourselves 2-0 down with 10 minutes to go it took Louis Rooney and big man ED to dig us out of this hole and thankfully they did because I to lose to Staley Bridge I would not have been happy at all then came the best performance of the season so a complete contrast to the Staley Bridge game we played Boston away and we won 3-1 we went in at half time 1-0 down despite actually probably being a slightly better team in the first half and then second half we just completely dominated we were absolutely fantastic played the best football Andre Brown, Ryan Crowsdale, Robert Stambolzio yeah, getting on the score sheet to hand us the 3-1 victory and then two days later on the Bank Live Day Monday we played top of the league we played Old Trincum crack inside they played very well against us and with players like Damian Reeves they're always going to grab goals because he is an absolute goal machine we did find ourselves 3-1 down with 10 minutes to go so to grab a 3-3 draw is absolutely out of this world and made me very happy now let's get on to the games right then so the team to face Darlington is going to be Hornby in goal Carter's going to be playing left back because unfortunately Zane Francis Agnol is away on international duty Tyrone Williams and Keith Lowe are going to be in the middle of the park with Hodgkiss on right back. McQuilkin and Crowsdale are still the centre of field pairing with Elton Engwithala still out injured. It means we're going to be missing that that extra man in the middle helping out big man ED and Andre Brown. We've got Arthur Ganawa and Robert Stambolziev on the wings. And as I've aforementioned, Brown and big man ED playing up top as a partnership. Louis Rooney will play no part in this game either because he is out on international duty also for Northern Ireland. Kind of shocking really. I mean that is a sorry state of affairs when you've got a striker in the National League North being called up for the Northern Ireland squad. Anyway, let's get into the game. Right, so Darlington seems to be playing quite a defensive formation in all fairness with the big gap between their attacking options and their midfield. I lo I'm going to look to take advantage of this. It looks like it's basically two back fours of defence. And if we can just push a few more players forward, I'm sure we'll be able to find some gaps. They're, they're 16th and they're there for a reason. So hopefully, this is a very winnable game. 
go on to there and we'll get Matt Gardner to just do whatever the hell he wants. I don't really. Uh, we should encourage. Well, I'm just going to sit there. I'm going to tell him we're the favourites to go out there and impress me. Because I feel we are the favourites. And I think we're the favourites pretty much every game I've played this season. And we really should be going out there and beating teams like Darlington, who really are not performing that well at the moment. So, structure, control. Let's start the match. Here we go then. Boyd. Boots it forward. Beck heads it on. Tyrone Williams. Good interception. Boot over. Well, they. It's a bit of pinball at the moment. Beck on that ball now. We'll chip that forward. And Marsh, is he going to get there ahead of Hornby? No, he's not. Hornby now. Where will he dispatch the ball to? Surely. Oh, he's just booted it. Big man, D. Big lad. Win the Edison. And he doesn't. Galbraith. On to Beck. Marsh now. Marsh. Back to Beck. It looks like it's all Darlington at the moment. Sires gets it back to Beck. Beck to Sires. What can Sires do with it? Sires. Williams wins it. Arthur Ganawa now we're looking to pounce. And oh my, there's, it's like two, three on two. Ganawa shoots. Why are you shooting from there? Go down the wing. Cross it in. We've got big Manny D for God's sake. He's a big lad. Whip it in for him. Mars. Carter should win that. Oh, it's come to Falkingham now. Falkingham. To Mars. Mars looking to Gillet. Gilly. On to Marsh now. Marsh shoots Hornby with the good save. Solid save. Here we go, Hornby gets there just ahead of Beck. And he'll look to clear this upfield for Kidderminster. Just put that on the floor. Boots it forward now. Arthur, can you win the header? It was just brung it down. Ball! Andre Brown's in! Oh my god, he skied it. It's a sitter. And he's absolutely skied it. We should be 1 0 up. We should be 1 0 up. How has he put that over the bar? First real attack Darlington have put forward. First proper save Hornby's had to make. Das though, now back to Beck, they're coming forward again here, Beck, Falkingham, playing a lot more attacking than I expected Darlington, Sires, up to, G I don't know, Gilly, Beck with the header, oh my god, I mean we'll look at the replay, but to me it looks like Hornby should be saving that, it looks to me like he should be, right on the stroke of half time as well, worst time to concede, they don't deserve it, they really don't. That's frustrating, to say the least. That is frustrating. Oh, here we go. This is July. What? He whips it in. Is it a header? If it's a header, which it is. Oh, Hornby. I'm sorry, Hornby. You should be. You should be saving that. That's a pathetic dive. Right. We're the favourites here, and this just won't do. Come on, lad. Show me a bit of desire. Passionate, you have the ability to make a real difference. Let's give him a bit of that. I'm not going to sit and say you weren't that bad because we were, to be fair. I mean, Big Manny D is injured, so we are going to make a sub with Sam Austin coming on for him, and then we'll swap Andre Brown and Sam Austin around. Um, Ryan Crow's Day looks a bit tired, so we'll bring on Truslove for Crow's Day. And we'll start the second half. Hopefully, we'll get a better performance out of them. Carter. McQuilkin to Carter. Who heads it infield towards Arthur. Carter now to McQuilkin. Stan Bolziev. All the way back to Hodgkiss. To McQuilkin now. He's found Austin. Austin. What the hell was that, Sam? Beck. Oh, and Darlington are counter-attacking. Beck. And he's going to play into size. He's got to go out wide now to Das. Das just got to put it on a plate for his teammate. And he has. Oh, they've hit the post. Das is offside. How has he missed? Oh my god, it's a sitter. Thank god he's hit the post there because that really probably would have been game. Right, we are now going to bring on Tyrell White for Stan Bolziev because Stan Bolziev hasn't done anything. Can White play up top? Yes, he can. Okay, we're bringing White on for for Brown. We're going to advance forward on attack and we're going to change our stance to attacking as well because... We need to go for this. We need to go for it. Boyd now. Boots it. Marsh is going to win that header unless Carter can get there, which he can, but it's gone straight to size. Gilly. Gilly? Down the line now to Williams. Hornby gets there, and that's a crap kick. Sires has got that, and now Turnbull. It's all oh, Darlington. Beck on that ball now to Das. He's got to slip it into the gap here. Das, he has. Beck's there, and it's a sitter. Darlington are all over us at the moment. This is infuriating this performance is 
We have awful Mars boots it forward. Lowe's header is another awful. What is? Where's the midfield? Where's the midfield? Beck gets it to Marsh. Marsh now. Darlington look like going to grab a second. Turnbull to Beck. He's Marsh. What can Marsh do? He's gone back to size. Come on, someone get a foot in somewhere. Marsh on that ball. Beck. Back to Marsh. Marsh. Williams is in, but it's gone straight back to him. But Lowe should win that. And it's gone straight back. Oh, my God. For God's sake, we put two passes together, please. Marsh. Beck. It's going to be two now. Hornby, what a save. Wait now on that ball. Oh, my God. What is wrong with us? Williams should get that. Man, Williams is getting tackled. Marsh. Good save. Hornby. What is up with us at the back of Park. Oh, Galbraith crossing it in. McQuilkey should clear it and does. Low ain't gonna get there. Low slower than a fucking snail on this game for some reason. Galbraith to whip it in again. Williams away. Only as far as Gile. Beck's in there. And we've now cleared it. And Tyrell Waite is gonna get there. Now can we make something happen? Tyrell Waite. Waite's on that ball. Wait. Oh my god. What the f hell is that? Oh, we're going to go overload. We're going to throw everything at it. Gilles booted it. Beck's nodded it on. Sawyer's save. What a save from Hornby. And Carter clears it away. We're now going to make a, cha a change. We no, well, we're not. Actually, there's not enough time, come to think of it. Marsh forwards. Williams gets there. It's going to go straight to Gilles. I mean, seriously. We haven't put two passes together in this second half. Marsh. Just blow the whistle ref, please. Low boots it. And unless the keeper is going to come for that, and Boyd will kick it back forward. Turnbull, oh, just blow the whistle now. We ain't got time. We're not going to create anything. Beck. Carter boots it forward. Austin. Oh, Tyrell. Wait is, wait is useless. Wait is actually useless. Oh, how the first loss of the season, you are not, not good at that. That's a bit of an understatement. Not good enough. You're f***ing... Oh. Anyway, there's the first loss of the season. I'll see you at the Telford game. Right then, so here we are at the Telford game. We've had some bad news since the Darlington game. Uh, Big Money D is actually out injured. So... We're gonna change formation. Because... I'm not gonna play Sam Austin up top or wait. They were both essentially useless against Darlington. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop and actually... My, I'm going to have a central defence midfielder. I'm going to play Kennedy Digi in that role there. Now with Zane Francis Agnew still out on international duty and Louis Rooney, it's disappointing to say the least. But we've got to work with what we've got to work with and hopefully... This team can do a job against Telford. I'm going to say... God, I don't give these fans their money's worth. If they don't want to do that, then... I don't know what I'm going to do with this squad of players. There we go. Listen keenly. Oh, did you? You listened bloody keenly. Right. Let's start the match. Hornby. Kicks it upfield. Crowsdale looking to win the header. Doesn't. Williams. McCarthy now on it for Telford. McCarthy back to Bailey. Bailey boots it forward. Cook's going to get to that. McCarthy now has it for Telford. McCarthy on to Wilson. Wilson plays it inside to Williams now. Williams back to Wilson. Back to Williams. Williams on to McCarthy. McCarthy nowhere to go. Gives it out. It's found its way to Cook. Bafode de Carvalho on that ball now. Back to Wilson. Hurst. Oh, Wilson's getting... McCarthy. Low. Wins it. Clears it. Andre Brown. He's alone at the moment. Andre Brown finds Arthur. Arthur, what can you do with it? McQuilkin. Brown's in. Brown, oh my. What are, you, what are you supposed to do when you create the chances but your strikers can't bloody score? Strong has it now. Williams on to Strong in the box. Ganawa picks it up. Come on, Arthur. Run away with it. Let's. Oh, what are you doing with it? You're taking your time. Arthur still going. Oh, he's past one. Arthur. What's, he's fan McQuilkin. On to Crowsdale. Crowsdale now. Williams, oh my God. Cook. Into Williams, Williams and Kennedy Digi, and we've won it. And the ball will find Andre Brown. Andre Brown's passed his man. Andre Brown's in, and he scored it. Andre Brown is bloody useless. Hodgkiss now. 
Can we score for half time? Stan Bowles, yeah. Basta Hoskiss. Brown. And it's cleared away. It get win the header. We didn't win the header. We didn't even win the bloody header. Cook. He's just got a square and a cross here. And he will. But Fodi Carvalho. And they've not... Oh, thank God. It's a crap effort. Because they have not been in this game. And yet, they look like they were going to score and take the lead before half time. <sighs> right. Encourage your team. We can still win this. Oh, no. I'm far from pleased. From that. I am. We should be ahead. And how we're not is beyond me, quite frankly. Liam Truslove. Because McQuilkin's absolutely shattered. I'm going to have to switch it around for Salford. And Salford are bloody top of the league. Um, We're going to leave it at that for now. Just the change. Oh, Hibbert's in. Oh, my God. Telford, I haven't even been in the f***ing game. God, I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't even paying attention to the highlight. The next thing I know, it's in the back of the f***ing net. Oh, it's... Oh, my God. It's a shock. It, why is Hornby dies? You could have walked and picked that f***ing thing up. Low, win it. Wins. Come on, Hodgkiss. Crowsdale. Move it a bit bloody quicker. Stan Balziev. I mean, I've completely forgot to make subs. And there's full f***ing time. <sighs> disappointing. Oh, disappointing. You want me to tell him it's disappointing? There you f***ing go. Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to comment. Let's just get to the bloody sulfur game. Hey, right, guys, welcome to the next game of the episode of how frustrating this episode's already been, quite frankly. Good news, Louis Rooney's back. I've only just noticed, so you're going straight in there. Brian, you're being dropped. Uh, we're going to play you as a defensive forward. Do I, uh, you need a partner if you're going to play that, so actually I'm not. I'm going to go target man on attack. Andre Brown, you will make the bench only because Sam Austin is useless as a striker. I'm waiting for the day that he can actually play right wing. Um, Torrell White, you're coming in for Stan Bolziev. We're going to still use Ken Kennedy Digi, I believe. And Zane Francis Daniel is coming straight back into that role. Actually, actually can't. I should surely be able to. Oh, no, he can't. But he will get on the bench ahead of Wayne Thomas. Actually, he'll get on ahead of low because low is too slow on this game, in my eyes. We're gonna go. We're just gonna go standard. Let's just go standard. Submit team, and let's just, quite frankly, a point would seem like a good result right now. Uh, teeth team talk. I've been on a bad run recently, so either impress me. I have faith. Get some more greens going. Right. Let's get it kicked off. Francis Agnell. Boot that. Oh, what a ball. He's only just cut back. Rooney. Also back from international duty. What can Rooney do? Oh, what are you shooting from there? Just hold on to it. You're a big lad. Hold on to it. People are coming to support you. Rooney now. To McQuilkin. McQuilkin. To Arthur Ganawa now. Come on. Arthur. Kennedy Digi. We'll find Crowsdale. Back to Digi. To McQuilkin. To Crowsdale. Back to Digi, to McQuilkin. Ganawa now. He's not going to be able to turn. He's going to go back to Francis Agnell. Now to Digi, to Crowsdale. Who should look for Rooney? Oh, Rooney's first touch. Finds McQuilkin. Oh, my God. We just missed too many chances. We really do. We missed too many chances. Hodgkiss on that ball now. Finds Rooney's being really good this game. Crowsdale, shout! 1-0! Come on! Get the... F Come on, get the f in there! Come on! Yes! Oh, we needed that. We needed a goal this episode. Oh, we now just don't concede. That is easier said than done, but just don't. Please, please don't concede. Oh, we need a win. McCorkin's corner kick coming in. It's going to be headed away. Arthur's going to bring it down. Oh, shoot! Oh, deflection 2 now! It's an own goal. It's going down as an own goal. To be fair, it probably was going wide, but it's 2-0. Come on, boys. Oh, I probably should mention we actually had a team meeting after the Telford game where I, came, where I told what I thought. And hopefully, this is what the reaction is from that team meeting. Hopefully, we don't go and throw this away now. Walker on that ball. Grand. 
down there. It's going to go straight to Hodgkiss. Come on, let's get a third. Let's go forward. Let's get another. McQuilkin on that ball. What can you do? He's going to go to a Francis Agnew. Straight back to McQuilkin now. Digi chips it forward towards Rooney, but Grand will get there. Walker. Crowsdale, will he win it? He will. And Crowsdale will get it to Rooney. McQuilkin picks up the ball. What can McQuilkin... Go on, look. He's gone to Francis Agnew. Francis Agnew on to Digi. Digi now to Crowsdale. Nice bit of passing play from us here. Hodgkiss. It's actually a lovely bit of passing play. Down the line to Wait. Wait. Whips one in. Arthur's there. It's three. It is three nil. <laughs> Come on. This is brilliant. It's three nil. This is the sort of reaction I was hoping for. Come on. What a ball from White though. Look at this for a cross. And Arthur's just unmarked. And he volleys it into the bottom corner. Three nil. But we will praise the team. Oh. We're going to sit there and say, I'm very happy with how things are going. I really am. Now, is anyone overly tired? Kennedy is. I can always... But then again, Crozo's on it on 78%. So... Moving them back isn't really an option. Um... I'm thinking, I'm going to leave it as it is. Why change what's working? We're going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to change why it's working. Right. We're going to make a sub. We're going to take Arthur off because he's quite tired. We're going to bring on Stan Bolziev for Arthur Ganawa. Now in the mid middle we are really struggling. So we're going to bring Truslov on for Crowsdale. crowsdale has been amazing. But I think keep him fit we've got Tamworth next so keep him fit there we go Truslov I think it's the end of the game it's a really boring second half but there it goes 3-0 what a response it's a fantastic result that is exactly what we were looking for I'm very happy with you boys continue to post match on side things it actually looks like it was quite close but in terms of highlights it was very much all us. I don't think Salford actually had a highlight of them shooting. So, fantastic to see us perform like that. It was a brilliant response to two very disappointing games. It certainly helps with the goal difference. And we're up to 13th. Now, hopefully we can kick on because Salford was 6th before kickoff. So, if we can kick on from that, get some wins going. Either way, that'll be that for today's episode. I will be up, yeah, releasing another episode, I'm thinking, either on Tuesday or Wednesday. It will probably include another three games. I'm thinking every episode now will have three games in it. And, yeah, I'll see you either Tuesday or Wednesday. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.